Get ready for a cosmic spectacle as Apophis, one of the most potentially hazardous asteroids ever identified, is gearing up for a close encounter with Earth. In 2029, it will approach our planet at an incredibly intimate distance of just 32,000 kilometers, equivalent to about 19,900 miles. This celestial visitor will swoop below the orbits of geostationary satellites, illuminating the sky as brightly as a satellite itself. This rare event will offer a captivating sight for billions of onlookers around the globe, a phenomenon that unfolds only once every few thousand years. Adding to the intrigue, NASA has dispatched a mission to delve into the mysteries of Apophis up close. Now, you might be wondering why ground-based observations alone aren't sufficient for studying this asteroid. Or why we've gone the extra mile to send a spacecraft to explore a celestial body that was once deemed the most perilous asteroid in our cosmic neighborhood. Lastly, and perhaps most crucially, should we be concerned about this celestial rendezvous? Let's dive into the details and find out. Apophis made its debut on the astronomical scene in 2004, catching the attention of astronomers when it was positioned approximately 170 million kilometers away from Earth. Sporting a peanut shell-like structure, initially labeled as 2004 MN4, this unremarkable 340-meter wide rock didn't raise many eyebrows. However, subsequent analysis revealed a concerning 1 in 37 chance of a collision with Earth in 2029, thrusting it into the spotlight. This 1 in 37 probability marked the highest ever calculated for a substantial asteroid impact in recorded history, earning the asteroid its ominous moniker. Apophis, named after the Egyptian god of destruction, it swiftly gained a reputation as the most dangerous asteroid ever discovered. In March 2021, Apophis conducted a distant flyby of Earth, allowing astronomers to utilize powerful radar observations to refine its orbit around the Sun precisely. Much to the relief of everyone on the edge of their seats, the updated analysis definitively ruled out any significant Earth impact events for the next century. Nevertheless, a crucial factor that demands attention is the Yarkovsky effect, a phenomenon resulting from the interplay between the asteroid and solar radiation. When sunlight hits a rotating asteroid, the dayside experiences heating. As the asteroid rotates, the night side cools down and releases accumulated heat. This process exerts a subtle thrust on the asteroid, influencing its trajectory over time. The Yarkovsky effect poses a challenge in modeling, yet its impact can be substantial in determining the eventual paths of asteroids. Due to the uncertainty surrounding how the Yarkovsky effect will influence Apophis orbit, our understanding of its location as it approaches Earth in the upcoming years is limited. Scientists must therefore consider a spectrum of potential trajectories, contingent upon the strength of the Yarkovsky effect on Apophis. Some of these trajectories align with specific regions in space known as gravitational keyholes. If Apophis were to traverse through a keyhole, Earth's gravity could precisely alter its path, potentially leading to an impact in a subsequent orbit. Astronomers have vigilantly monitored Apophis' trajectory since its discovery. Ground-based observations and radar measurements indicate a gradual deviation from a purely gravitational orbit. Should this trend persist, the prospect of an impact scenario in 2068 cannot be entirely disregarded. In simpler terms, there remains a slight but non-negligible possibility that this colossal asteroid may collide with our planet within the next 50 years. 
The Yarkovsky effect is influenced by variations in an object's temperature resulting from factors such as radiation exposure, asteroid composition, and stellar wind. To draw definitive conclusions, it becomes imperative to conduct close and repeated observations. This is precisely where NASA's OSIRIS APEX mission steps in to bridge the informational gaps. Originally launched in 2016 as OSIRIS-REx, this spacecraft was designed to collect samples from the asteroid Bennu. On October 20, 2020, it successfully made contact with Bennu's surface, gathered a sample, and later returned to Earth on September 24, 2023. The spacecraft released capsule containing fragments of Bennu into Earth's atmosphere. And this capsule descended via parachute, landing in Utah, where the mission team eagerly awaited the sample recovery. Notably, the Bennu sample stands as the largest asteroid sample ever brought back to Earth. However, the journey for the spacecraft didn't end there. Just 20 minutes after releasing the capsule with the Bennu sample, the spacecraft initiated a new mission, now known as OSIRIS Apex. Currently en route to rendezvous with Apophis, OSIRIS Apex, which stands for Origins, Spectral Interpretation, Resource Identification, and Security Apophis Explorer. It will play a pivotal role in advancing our understanding of Apophis. An hour after Apophis completes its close approach to Earth on April 13, 2029, OSIRIS Apex will leverage Earth's gravity to enter an orbit around the asteroid. Over the course of 18 months, it will conduct an in-depth study of Apophis, gathering valuable data. While OSIRIS Apex won't be able to collect a sample from Apophis, it will approach the asteroid's surface and utilize its thrusters to execute a maneuver designed to expose Apophis' subsurface. This maneuver aims to provide researchers with insights into the physical and chemical composition of the asteroid. Over a span of 1.5 years, OSIRIS Apex will meticulously map the surface of the asteroid. This endeavor will provide mission scientists with the opportunity to scrutinize any notable alterations resulting from Apophis' brief interaction with Earth's gravitational influence. Despite the relatively modest tidal forces, they have the potential to instigate minor landslides and unveil fresh material on the asteroid's surface for further study. Moreover, the spacecraft will precisely ascertain the asteroid's orbital motion at a scale down to the meter. This heightened precision is instrumental in enabling researchers to accurately predict Apophis's future trajectory. While current predictions extend only until 2116, the measurements obtained by OSIRIS Apex are anticipated to significantly extend this forecast horizon. It's worth noting that OSIRIS Apex is not the lone spacecraft slated to visit Apophis, numerous missions are gearing up for exploration. A South Korean team has proposed a mission set to launch a spacecraft in 2027, slated to reach Apophis in January 2029, just ahead of Apophis's Earth flyby. The objective is to acquire a more detailed view of the asteroid's structural changes resulting from its close encounter with Earth. Additionally, missions featuring smaller spacecraft, such as Apophis Pathfinder, are scheduled for launch in 2025 to 2026. This particular spacecraft is poised to execute the first ever close flyby of Apophis, reaching the asteroid within approximately one year of its launch. Additionally, earlier this year, NASA officials put forth a proposal during the 8th Planetary Defense Conference to deploy a fleet of small spacecraft for the exploration of Apophis. A thorough examination of Apophis is poised to significantly contribute to our comprehension of various perilous asteroids in close proximity to Earth. 
These missions represent a remarkable stride in enhancing our understanding of Apophis's behavior, ultimately aiding in the development of robust defense mechanisms against potential impacts. That concludes our update for today. Thank you for tuning in.